One of my favorite things to do in Excel is make my spreadsheets more interactive using Excel's native tools. For example, did you know you can create filtering dropdown menus that instantly show only the data selected in the dropdown? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in just two simple steps. Let's get started. Here we have a sales data set with hundreds of rows, and we want to be able to quickly filter the data by sales representative. Instead of manually filtering through all of this data every time, we can create an interactive dropdown that filters the data for us. Before we start building this, we need to make a copy of our data to use as the source data for our calculations. To keep things simple for this video, I'm going to copy the data to the right side of the worksheet, but if you don't want to be able to see your source data, you can copy it to another tab. Once you've copied your data, you need to enter a list of all the representatives next to the data to use for your drop-down menu. If you don't have a representative list readily available, you can just enter the unique function and select all of the reps names in the data table to create a unique list. Now that we have our source data set up, we can delete the original data set and create our drop-down menu by selecting the cell where we want the drop-down to appear, navigating to the data tab and clicking data validation. In the data validation dialog, choose list under the validation criteria and enter the employee list we just created as the source range. Hit okay to save these changes and now we have the drop-down menu with all of the sales reps. Now for the magic part, creating the dynamic filter that returns the representative's data that's selected from the drop-down menu. To do this, we need to select where we want the filter results to appear and enter the filter function. The filter function filters an array of data and needs two main pieces of information. First, it needs to know what data we want to filter, so I'm going to select my entire sales data table as the array argument. Next, we need to tell the filter function what to filter our data on. In this case, we want to filter the data where the representative column matches the representative selected from the drop-down menu. So I'm going to select the representative column from my data and set it equal to the cell containing our drop-down menu. Press enter, and as you can see, the filter function is only showing the rows where the representative column equals the value selected from the drop-down. The best part about this data is that it's completely dynamic. So if I select Emma Chip from the dropdown, the table instantly updates to show Emma's sales only. If I switch to Mike James, it immediately shows just his data instead. How cool is that? This is so much faster than using traditional filter toggles and looks way more professional. To wrap up, we covered how to create dynamic filtering dropdown menus using Excel dropdowns in the filter function. Your boss is definitely going to be impressed when you show up with this instead of manually filtering data every time. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.